four and a half miles done, you guys. Y'all, we're in for a long day. I'm helping with the cameras. And I just had a meltdown. My best friend at work put in a two week notice today. It's me, 15 seconds later for part two. If you have not watched part one of this vlog, then I recommend you watch it first, just because it was the beginning of the week. So you see where I'm at and what's been going on. It'll also make sense as to why I was so exhausted in this vlog that you're soon gonna see. So I apologize again for having to split it into two different parts. Oh, your, your ears are too big. Let's get on with the rest of this week. Happy home day, you guys. I was up every hour of the night trying to get the air conditioning to work. I couldn't figure it out. So I woke up drenched in sweat twice and I feel gross. My body is sticky and I don't want to take a morning shower. <laughs> I am going to do some stretches though before we start our day. I literally did stretches last night for 15 minutes before bed. These thighs, y'all. These thighs. <laughs> Luckily, this five in the morning is really six o'clock my time. <gasps> So it's not super early. That is <laughs> so sore. Oh my god. Maybe all the people that do yoga in the morning do intense workouts the night before and they just need to stretch it out. Also, I woke up to over a thousand TikTok notifications. <laughs> so that little hotel tour I did yesterday got some views. Also, this conference is being streamed virtually to a lot of people and I'm helping with the cameras. I've never done that before, so that's why I have to get there at 7, an hour before it starts, so I can learn the ropes and figure out what I need to do and <laughs> what my responsibility is. So I never explained what this conference is, but we have it every single year. Our office hosts it, and a lot of the other state agencies will tune in or be there in person, and it's a way to learn some of the new government standards and really just a lot of the governmental accounting changes and stuff that's going on. So that's the context. It's a two-day conference in Nashville. Get ready to leave. It is 6.20. I'm hoping to be out of here in a few minutes. I'm going to make some of the decaf coffee they left me. Look at this morning sun on these buildings. Look how pretty. I love the morning sun. It's my favorite part of the day. Oh my goodness, you guys. They didn't give me any lids for my coffee. I can't walk all the way to the office with an open cup of coffee. I'm gonna have to go downstairs and find their lid stash. Just kidding. The lids were hiding underneath the cups. Okay, let's go. Little outfit of the day. I literally look like a stagehand wearing all black. <laughs> City of mine. How I love, how I love the city of mine. It never gets me down. City of mine. How I love, how I love it. Are you for real? Y'all, what? Where is my GPS taking me? City of mine. It never gets me down. Yeah. Did y'all see where it just took me? Google's like, all right, heaven, we got a shortcut for you. Blasting zone ahead. I was born in the city. I was raised on its edges. My pop worked his life when it's calm blocks up on love in its center. If I could live here forever, think it'd be for the better. I love the weather, even though it's fog 24 7. I love the Hey guys, I'm done with the conference city. for the day. I'm exhausted. Also, they gave me a hat to wear today since I'm helping out. We all got to wear hats and all the girls complained, but I loved it because I wear a hat every single day of my life. Like, this is part I get to wear this at work? Are you kidding? Like, best day ever. 24 7. I love the people. This is city. I met all my best friends and I want to. It's 5 10. I'm meeting a friend for dinner at six. The video and the audio part was successful for day one. It was fun to get to do that too. It gave me something to do while I'm listening. All right, I'm in some summer clothes because it is so freaking hot outside. I'm gonna lay down for like 10 minutes and just collect myself and then I will see you guys at dinner. I'm going with a friend from college. She's one of my roommates and her and her husband live like downtown, which is super cool. So it just worked out. I'm so glad they were free tonight so I could see them. <laughs> Dinner place was so much fun. It was called Bar Taco. I got a little adventurous and I had a duck taco, a squash taco, and then a pork taco. My favorite one was the squash. My second favorite was the duck. <laughs> That's crazy. It was really good. It did take a long time though. They were really backed up in the kitchen. So we were there for two hours, but at least I got to hang out with my friends and catch up. So now it's 8.30. I need to jump in the shower because I am so sticky from this hot weather that I can't stand. Half this vlog is just me stretching because of how sore I am. So I didn't share this earlier, you guys, but my best friend at work put in his two week notice today. And I knew it was coming, but it still didn't prepare me for how sad it was gonna be. It's for a good reason. He's not going anywhere else. He's just pursuing a side hustle thing. 
then I'm all for that, so I can't be upset. But I've learned in my five plus years in a career that your job satisfaction is based only on about 20 or 30 percent of the job you're doing and about 70 to 80 percent of the people you're doing it with. You can have the best job in the world, but if you work with a crappy team or you just don't like your coworkers, you're just gonna be miserable. But you can work with some amazing, great people and be doing the most boring thing ever and still come back every day with a smile. I'm gonna be really sad we've been like best friends at work for four years. It'll be all right. But it's still just such a bummer. Good morning, you guys. I did not sleep with the crap again. I, it was cold enough. This time it was cold enough. I just kept having nightmares and weird dreams. I also like yesterday was the most socially packed busy day I've had in like months. Like I was exhausted and couldn't get restful sleep. And the fact that I have to do it all over again today. <laughs> It'll be fine, it'll be fun. The thing that sucks about today though is we get out of training at 4.30 Central and then I have to get in my car and drive back to Knoxville. I lose an hour, so it's really 5.30 my time. I'm gonna be sitting in traffic in Nashville for at least an hour, because that's always the case. And then three hours after that before I get home. Y'all, we're in for a long day, I hope you're ready. But I got all, all my stuff ready to be packed up because we gotta check out this morning. I need to go down and get my hotel bill. Hey guys, it is 6.52, so I'm gonna head out because I still gotta get my hotel bill, find my car in this fancy garage, and then hit the road to make it to work by 7 30. do you guys see this massive shade tree first of all that's our building that our conference is in so this is the closest parking lot and when i got here by seven yesterday this whole row underneath this shade tree was open but i was like i bet people are gonna park there like obviously it's hot outside when we get out of work but i got a spot under the shade tree it's gonna be a good day it's a new day just now leaving work it is 4 40 they did not let us out a minute early <laughs> my eta is 9 p.m on the dot it has been a long freaking day dude 907 it just added seven more minutes it's been a great conference though and i love the days i get to come to nashville and see all my coworkers because i only get to see everybody like maybe twice a year so i really do enjoy it i'm just that was a lot of social energy two days back to back and i haven't slept well in this hotel I don't know how you guys deal with this traffic every day. I, I couldn't, I lived in Nashville for a year and it took me two hours to get home from work every single day. And that's when I was like, I have to get out of here. This is not worth my time. If I lived here, I'd have to live downtown. There's no way I'd be dealing with this commute. Also, we're about to be driving right through the middle of that. Hey guys, for dinner, we are gonna have something new. I apologize for that sound. You probably hear this entire video. My camera is literally broken. So we're eating Kane's chicken. Um, I'm gonna do that three finger combo. Let's drink on that. Let's do high C. Um, does that come with the cane sauce? Yes, it does. It, it comes does. with one. Okay, yeah, okay, that'll be great. Yeah, that's it. Can I have a name for that? It'll be heaven. Okay, it's gonna be 987 with that first one. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Hi, right, sorry. Get my stuff together here. There you go. Thank you. The menu looks just like Zaxby's, but Amy swears Kane's is better than Zaxby's. Appreciate All right, thank you. Thank you. All right, guys, we're gonna take a little break and eat this and change clothes in the parking lot. It's gonna be a great time. We are in Cookville, Tennessee. So I'm gonna change really quick. <laughs> All right, guys, what you missed in that brief second was a meltdown. I couldn't find my socks in my bag, and I just had a meltdown. And that is how tired I am. My battery is on zero. Oh, they have sesame seeds on their bread. I'm allergic to sesame seeds. Chicken, fries, and toast, just like Zaxby's. <laughs> Amy, I'm eating this for you. This looks just like Zach sauce. Cane sauce and Zach sauce, the same freaking thing. This is the same place. I need to buy them side by side. Too bad the only canes we have is here in Cookville. These are good chicken tenders. They're just like Zaxby's, but they're really good. My vote is probably gonna say that Zaxby's is better because they don't put sesame seeds on their toast. Look how thick this bread is. That's thicker than Zaxby's toast but it's skinnier, so it's the same amount of bread. I don't have time to take off sesame seeds. Their fries don't have seasoning on them. Zaxby's fries have a good seasoning. That was really good. I love Zaxby's. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Canes. I'm sure there's something about you that's different. For those of you that have had both Raising Canes and Zaxby's, let me know below which one you think is better and why. Okay, let's see if I can make it all the way home without crying again. Estimated arrival time, 9.30. 
made it home. It is 9.21. I don't even want to climb the stairs. <laughs> also, there weren't any storms. I just drove through some rain. I'll see you tomorrow. I'm gonna go straight to bed. Good morning, you guys. Happy Friday. I'm so tired, but I got eight hours of sleep. I just woke up at eight o'clock. I didn't get to bed early. I was talking to my best friend on the phone and then I found two giant bugs and then I was getting creeped out that I was infested with bugs in the two days that I was gone. So then I couldn't sleep because of that. Anyway, I got woken up at like eight because my utility company's outside. They've dug this gigantic hole in our yard. I don't know what's going on, but it's noisy. So I emailed one of the ladies that I think goes to work every day that works at the other Knoxville office to see if she'll be in today so I can drop off that box of equipment. Because I just realized we have another conference in Nashville Monday and Tuesday. <laughs> I'm gonna attend it virtually, but that means I wouldn't get the equipment over there until Wednesday. And I don't know how important it is that they need it. I don't exactly know what's in the box. So I'm gonna go drop that off. I also had to get the new address from her because I don't know where they moved to. She sent me the address. I also need to go ahead and do my travel claim so it can get done and processed. My audit client that we finished, we literally are on the final end of the audit. We're doing like the very, very tail end audit procedures. We already have the reports done. They just had a cyber attack the, earlier this week and they were hacked and we don't know the extent of it. We have everything we need for the audit, so it should be fine for this audit period. I'm still going back to this client this summer to do some single audit federal work for the next fiscal year. And if they've lost those records, that's gonna, I just hope they didn't lose them. I hope they were recovered. We just went through this with my last spring audit client last year they had a ransomware attack and it was severe like the FBI was involved TBI all law enforcement it was a really really big deal they lost a lot of financial records y'all what's funny is when that construction started happening and I woke up I literally thought it was like four in the morning <laughs> and it was eight o'clock I could have slept for another four or five hours I had one of our assistant directors write an email for me approving the $50 parking. I told her the whole situation. So I'm gonna attach that with my travel claim in case they question it. Yeah, we have killed four batteries in this vlog. I'm dreading having to edit this video. I ended up working much longer. I was talking to my best friend that just put in two week notice, so caught him up about the conference stuff. Oh, I'm gonna be so sad when he leaves, but it's good for him. I'm excited for him. We're gonna go take this box of equipment over. Already almost 10 30, so I'm gonna grab something to eat. We need to be drinking a lot of water so I can go on a run later. Oh my gosh, my elephant ear plant is growing since I've been gone. Look at him. He was just a little bulb. Their new office is really nice, and it literally has the new office smell. They just opened yesterday so it's like really cool I gotta go see it So I realized it was after 10.30, so no place is gonna sell breakfast. So I walked in, I was like, I'll take the sandwich of the day. Then a lady behind me walks in and she was like, this is my first time here. And the lady's going over the menu and she said, we serve breakfast and lunch all day. And I was like, oh my gosh, I could have had breakfast. <laughs> It's okay, it was a really good sandwich. That was the best salad I've had in a long time. I ate the entire salad and I just wish it was three times bigger. It was amazing. And then their lemon cookies are what they're known for. That's how Hammond Goodies got like popular was from their lemon cookies. Okay guys, so I lay down on the couch and I set my alarm for 30 minutes. I was like, we'll take a power nap then we'll go on our run, okay? Three and a half hours later, I woke up. I turned off my alarm, but I was just so tired. <laughs> so I finally feel like myself again. I feel so great. I am excited to go on this run. All day yesterday, this morning, I just was so beyond exhausted. <laughs> But I feel so great now, so we're back to ourselves. It's either raining right now, we're about to start raining, and there's thunderstorms coming. <laughs> so I'm gonna run with my vest, my hydration vest, because it's 80 degrees outside. Even though I'm only running four miles, I need water. So yeah, this is a liter and a half water pack. I filled it maybe like a liter of the way, and then the little tube, it just hangs out the side. I got my shape stick, we're gonna put on my legs, because your girl got some thighs. <laughs> I'm gonna bring one of my energy waffles. I've also got one of these gels. I've still never tried these. I'm a little nervous, but I know I like the waffles. I normally just drop everything down that I might need. And then my pepper spray, I need to have easy access to it in case I do need it. I've been attaching it to this little carabiner that I put on here. And I'll also clip my AirPods at the top and then I'll drop them down in here, but they don't go all the way to the bottom. And then my right side, I basically just hold onto the hose and then I'll have my phone right here. It is four o'clock. You can't tell on the clock. No, I cannot describe to you how much better I feel after that nap. Look at this little baby. Baby goose. It's so cute. I want a baby goose. They're the cutest little fuzzy things. One mile. I ran it way too fast, you guys. Two miles. 
I turned around at two miles and a quarter. Look at this view, you guys. I need a phone stabilizer. I'm sorry, it's so jumpy. All right, I'm ready for the gel. It tastes like cake icing. I got the vanilla bean. Mm. These hills are crazy. It's also starting to rain and it feels amazing. Four miles. It has been much easier in the rain when it cools me off. So pretty too. Four and a half miles done, you guys. I'm soaked in sweat and rain. All right, you guys, I am back home. I had dinner with mom and dad and yeah, dad's building a bathroom at the house. That's why they're here for a few weeks. And he's literally building it by himself, like an entire bathroom. <laughs> like it's fascinating. And then it's been cool to like watch the progress too. But I've got my koi nug back. He's here, he beats my boozy. I missed him. So yeah, you guys, thanks for hanging out with me this week. It was a very busy but fun week, but also exhausting. <laughs> also, I have to run eight miles on Sunday, so y'all wish me luck on that. But anyway, I'll see y'all next time, friends. Bye. One mile done. Let's go. Two miles. Tyler, look. What? <laughs> yes. <It's so> <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Made this whole day. I'm gonna pretend to push in. Three miles, Go. four miles, we're halfway. Heading back. It is hot. Oh. All right, five miles. Let's go. <laughs> okay, walk back. <laughs> Mile six. Six miles. Boom. Whoa, two left. Uh, Seven. One mile left. Oh my gosh, we're almost done. <laughs> Eight miles. Let's go. We had a sprint at the end. Let's go. We're going to cardiac arrest. Best mile at the end, right there. We made up for that last mile. Oh. Walk up a massive hill.